Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. If you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. Yeah, so let's get into this reading. We're going to take a look at your weekend. And the weekend is, oh my gosh, Easter weekend. So happy Easter to everyone. I had a card that dropped in. Okay. So we're looking here at March 29th, 30th, and 31st. So you're starting with heart with a key, welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together. Perfect. Okay. Oh, you've got boat. Receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues, and seduction. Oh my goodness. Okay. So let's take a look and see. Heart with a key. So it looks like somebody's going to be meeting someone special or meeting the one this weekend, getting together with someone this this weekend. Let's see. Ooh, yeah. Page of Cups. So that's definitely some type of an invitation. Could be someone's wishing, or you might be wishing someone a happy birthday to someone or someone that you have a like in your heart. Um, there's an invitation it's a text message for sure the page is always for me the written word like on the page so this feels to me like um, an invite or there's some type of communication that you're gonna be getting from someone could be a Pisces let's see oh this is like a wish coming true someone's wishing and hoping you will accept um, or respond to a message it could be asking you out Wow, six of wands. So, yeah, somebody here is hoping to win your affection, Virgo. So, water sign energy, fire sign energy, trying to win your affection, hoping that you will respond. Maybe you're getting a key to a house or a car or someone's offering to make a copy of a key for you. Maybe you guys could be moving in together over the weekend um, or just getting an invite someone's going to make you dinner or do something sweet like that there's there is a getting together energy so there is a conversation or a reach out that you're gonna you should be getting over this weekend okay let's see what else can you tell virgo spirit what else can you tell virgo okay first card first court card so queen of swords masculine or feminine this is air energy Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let's see. Coming through with some truth here. Big time communication. Let's see. Wow, the Emperor. Hmm. Somebody is meeting somebody's elder, father, grandfather, <laughs> or a grandparent. You know, I'm looking at this Queen of Swords. Now, this could be you, Virgo, as well. There's a conversation maybe between you and perhaps an Aries or a water sign or, yeah, like a fire sign. If this Queen of Swords is representing you. Um, I see you responding. So it looks like someone's going to be reaching out and you're going to be responding. Maybe a little curious or asking some questions to uh this person in response to what they're asking so like for, for example you get invited out and somebody wants to take you to dinner and you're like well where do you want to go you know there's definitely communication happening here the queen of swords can be someone who is single or divorced or widowed hmm. yeah there's definitely yeah i kind of feel like that maybe that was an example not an example that that might have been an actual thing okay so there are plans being made getting together i feel like it's the energy is nice okay it feels nice it doesn't feel like heavy or anything like that we have like very light energy i feel like someone whomever's reaching out to you over this weekend is really hoping that you will respond hmm so this could be somebody new but there's definitely an energy of love coming in like welcoming love or meeting somebody new here so hey if you got plans or someone's making plans with you or just asking to connect 
or go out, do something together, whether it's masculine or feminine. I feel like go ahead and make those plans. Uh, there may need to be like a compromise, you know, like somebody's like, well, I can't eat that. I'm gluten free <laughs> or I'm a vegan. So there's like a conversation that happens on Friday about making some plans and trying to figure these plans out. Okay. So that's good. That's good. That's good. Now, let's see. Saturday, you have the boat receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, and some closure issues. All right, let's see. All right, Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. Wow. Hmm, Virgo. Oh. Looks like there's some kind of um, art, like maybe some fighting between a Queen of Wands and a King of Wands. So two fire signs, like cat claws out. Okay, masculine or feminine or end masculine and feminine so all right well this feels like some kind of um issue is happening here with the seven of wands it feels like defensive i feel like it doesn't have anything to do with you in other words i don't feel like it's you and another person i feel like these are two people attached to you that are uh, maybe coming to you um, to help. To help out or mediate a situation. It could be siblings or some other family members. It feels like you, you're being kind of like, so, like with the progression arriving, somebody comes in or shows up. Um, they show up at your doorstep, I'm hearing, asking if they could stay for a little while. Or if they could just camp out for the night. It looks like two other people going through some kind of breakup. It doesn't have nothing to do with you. Like, in other words, it's not your issue. Or somebody's like, oh, I've been living on my boat. We, we're splitting up. We're arguing. We're fighting. We're not doing well. Can I come stay? It's something along those lines. I don't know if that's going to resonate for you as if it's happening now. Or it could be occurring. You know, it. You, I feel like you'll either you'll hear about this as a third party outside of something or you will be asked to assist and yep there you go three of swords so there's two people here fighting having discard or, or discord argument or breaking up separating somebody coming to talk to you or asking for like some help with something now you might be involved with one of these people and you might find out that the person that you have an attachment to is ending a relationship with the person they're with, okay? So you could have a romantic relationship with one of these people, or you might just be like a friend or a sibling, okay? Um, but yeah, I feel like Saturday, that's going to be pretty, like the energy will be strongest for Saturday. It could happen on Friday or could happen on Sunday, could be a family thing, or somebody's not coming to Easter dinner, or their way, or, or there's maybe something happens on the, the holiday, or the weekend, and you're there to kind of like be a third party to get in and mediate. All right, Sunday now you've got seduction. So attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. Hmm. It looks like Friday is like your night to just go out and do your thing. It looks like a little bit of drama over the weekend. And if you're getting together with family uh, for the Easter break or the holiday, um, you know how sometimes that can go. A little bit of something breaks out. Okay, you've got Queen of Pentacles. Oh, you've got the Ten of Swords. Oh, healing from some kind of betrayal. Hmm. And reconciling um okay something that has ended for you virgo where there was a betrayal or, or an ending or some type of relationship it's kind of like they're saying once you let go and you start healing and you get into like this recovery mode and everything's good um and you're feeling better because you reduce the 10 to a four and you start healing, getting 
when we go backwards from the 10 to the four to the ace, the ace is clarity. So you're like pretty close to getting some clarity about perhaps something that was happening in a relationship with someone where there was some type of third party situation. As soon as you get back to that, somebody's, I feel like maybe that person, it could be another earth sign, is coming back in here on Sunday in some way. Maybe give you some Easter flowers or just reach out to you. Um, and kindness wants to see you again or fix something, right? So it, this feels like maybe something that happened before where either you saw something or somebody was flirting or was dating somebody else or they were hooking up or they were just kind of flirting with the idea something ended or you ended or, or something's been over or you see something and then you're like, no, I'm done. You're going silent. On Sunday but then that person shows up yeah ace of cups so there's a new love start for sure um, now some of you this new person that you're connecting with on Friday um, could actually be someone that you knew from before as well um, where Hmm. It looks like you're letting go of another past relationship. Yeah, is, is somebody else going to... The, so is the person you were dating before coming back? Yes. Um, but then there's also somebody new here. So I kind of feel like your weekend... I mean, I don't really see you doing anything um, as far as like pursuing anyone. I just kind of feel like you're, eh, maybe I should just really accept this new offer. Or, you know, maybe you find another reason to... Um, take on a new relationship with someone and decide yeah see you're weighing things out on sunday um and maybe you get a message from the person that was messing around um and you decide you're gonna block them because you've got a new love start with somebody else virgo hmm. okay so just keep in mind that these messages may or may not resonate with you so none of this happens over the weekend i know some of you do leave in the comments that this played out exactly the way i said but not everybody so keep that in the back of your mind here take it with a grain of salt you'll know when the weekend kind of ends <laughs> and then you can look back it might just be one day resonates it could be the whole thing you know um i feel like your overall advice for this weekend is to trust your gut Trust your intuition. Don't deceive or gaslight yourself. Believe. You know, what's that old saying? Believe only half. Believe none of what you see and only half of what you hear. Right? Because sometimes looks and things like that can be deceiving. Um, and half of what you hear, only believe like half of it because, and discern which half of that is the truth. You know, your intuition and your gut is going to tell you, it always will be honest with you. You'll just know. You, you won't have any doubt when your intuition is speaking to you. If you have any doubt, then that's your fear. Okay, I feel like that's your overall message for the weekend. Let me take a look and see. I know this feels like it's going to be a little bit short. Um, let's get some more messages. What else does Virgo need to know? More information. More messages for Virgo. Okay. Rejection. Hmm. This rejection is actually divine protection. Okay, specific message there for somebody. You're going, feeling rejected. Know that this is actually, you're being protected. You're, you're dodging a bullet. Self-care, clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. If you get rejected over this weekend, Virgo, take it as a sign that this is a good thing. Don't, um, try not to, um, be reactive to a re uh, some type of rejection like it could be a job it could be insurance payment it could be your credit card <laughs> at the store 
<laughs> gets declined for some, you know, glitchy reason. Um, could it be a relationship? Sure. Could be anything. But try to take it like, hmm, I guess that wasn't meant for me. And something better is coming my way. Um, go slow. Take time to get to know each other. All right. And that's the meeting the one energy. Take your time with this new person. If you're already dating somebody new, same message. Take your time with this. Don't rush to the finish line. Yeah, look. It is a new love. And some of you, it is a recommitment to love that's developing. Right? And if you go back to yesterday's reading, some of you are getting engaged in April. Or moving to the next level in a relationship. Okay. And you also have longing. Someone is secretly yearning for you. Hmm. That's a little bit of a mystery. Oh, you said your twin flame. Who is your past life love? It's your past life person is like secretly longing for you. So if you've ended like a twin flame relationship and you're moving on to somebody new, that person is like, Phew. I can't stop thinking about you. Hmm, why did you end it? Maybe you're on different pages. You guys don't have the same vision. Or it just ended. Could have been mutual. But somebody's definitely, you know, your twin flame. Whomever your twin flame is, you know, you know who they are is longing for you at this point. Seriously. Oh my gosh. Over the weekend especially. Let's get your Chinese sign, Virgo. Okay. All right. You could be year of the goat. We have year of the tiger. Year of the snake. Year of the monkey. Year of the ox. Year of the horse. Year of the dog. We have a horse again, double horse, and year of the rabbit. All right. Wow, Virgo, craziness. All right, some Chinese messages here for the weekend. What else does Virgo need to know for the weekend? Okay. Oh, again, with the friendship. Yeah, like I said, a friend needs your help, your kindness, and excellent counseling skills will put them back on track. So for some of you, that is a friend or a family member coming to you for assistance as they're going through some kind of a breakup and so that's a double confirmation virgo you also have travel long distance communication will open up your life exciting experiences for singles and career advancement for others wow so if your single is a pringle there's movement forward in that okay and you have, hold on. All right, you have planning. Now is the time to lay down the foundations for your future. Financial gains are more than likely. Nice, I saw that like somebody won the million dollar lottery in Pennsylvania and now it's up to 995 million. What? Oh, and here's your intuition, Virgo. Just like I said, trust your gut. It's a great time to learn a new skill, change careers, or invest money. Intuition, Virgo. Trust your intuition. I'm just going to get a couple more messages here. Let's see. What else does Virgo need to know? Okay, so pregnancy. Someone is expecting. Could be over this weekend. That baby comes out. Or someone's getting an ultrasound on the weekend. Okay. Or finds out about a pregnancy this weekend. Doesn't have to be you. Okay. Yeah, there's the heart. I do feel like, so you've got health issues could arise. Pay attention to your heart. Look out for any arrhythmias. Um, there could be um, listening an ultrasound and doing the baby's heartbeat this weekend also. Hearing the heartbeat for the first time in an, a pregnancy, an OBGYN ultrasound. 
I'm, I feel that mostly. I feel like that's mostly. Like that could be you. Um, it could also be someone else that you're is connected to you. Um, now I don't feel like there's something to worry about here with health issues could arise. I feel it's more like if you have a, a, a doctor appointment or you've been thinking about, but you've been just kind of putting it off, um, health issues could arise if you don't take care of this. Now, pregnancy doesn't have to be a baby. Um, pay attention to your skin. Pay attention to any cysts you find. Or I know it's getting kind of gross, but go and have that stuff looked checked out. You know, if you have access to that over the weekend, great. If not, get on that Monday morning. Okay, so let's see what else. Okay. Okay, some of you, I'm just going to say this. <laughs> um, some of you, I'm going to hold this up in just a second. Wait a minute. And this is for a very specific. Um, there's a narcissist in your life. Who, they're, they're just so full of themselves that you're divorcing. Um, if that's you, like you, you're on your way out. Or there's a, a breakup or something you're doing the right thing because this person is a liar so if you've had like ugh, if you've been thinking about that or you just had some questions or you're maybe it's, this person caused you to believe it's all your fault and you're experiencing some of that cognitive dissonance getting away from this person there this is a confirmation that you're not you're not wrong and you this is what you need to do they're saying go ahead and do that go forward with the divorce go forward with the breakup this person is a liar they are sneaky okay it could be an air sign gemini libra aquarius be careful with that person <laughs> why because they're gonna keep trying to come back yeah and they could be coming back and try to reel you back in i feel like that's a real specific message for someone so be careful of that energy. If you're trying to get, or you already did get away, now they're they're gonna show up, or they try to stop you from breaking up with them. And that's not because that person, like it's a heartfelt thing. It's because of their loss, not what they did to cause you to leave. All right, September 11th is here. We have the letter Z. Uh, I'm hearing Vin or Vinny or Vincent. Okay. I'm also picking up Sam. Someone's 35. Um, we have 62. We have September 19th. Okay. I'm also picking up Lynn or Lynette. 1985, 1976. And the letter, oh, someone's name is Levin. Levin. Or Levi. Okay, we have the letter P, August 31st, O, um, August 28th, 1968, together or separate. Okay, we have the letter E, Elaine, Edward, someone is 50, five zero. Someone is 49, 60, September 18th, um, Pam, somebody's checking their um, Google map for directions, um, they're also saying there's something that you're supposed to do, or you got to schedule something, schedule it for the morning in the AM, um, 1800 hours, they're saying, so is that like 6, 8? Is that 6 p.m.? Uh, that's 6 p.m. And well, that, well now they're saying, so they're saying 6 a.m. Or So I guess it's somewhere between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. Something's going on. Or something needs to be, maybe that's a shift. Maybe you work like a shift 
It's a 12 hour shift. You might be someone that works a 12 hour shift. You might be changing or you need to change your shift from, from maybe you, from the opposite of where you're at. So if you normally work 6 p.m. to 6 a.m., they're saying switch it to 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. or vice versa. Okay, that message was tough coming through. All right, somebody's birthday is in April. So like I said, there could be a birthday uh, wish being sent to someone, perhaps an Aries. Are you sending it or you have sent it? Um, it's going to start something up with that person. Um, I just heard Cam. Cam. I don't know if it's webcam or Cammy or someone's name, Cameron. 1987. Okay, California. Someone's in California. Um, someone's birthday is in January. Someone is 43. Okay. Um, now someone... They're giving me the word vine. Like a, like a grapevine. A vine. Um, I'm also picking up Massachusetts. That someone could be in Massachusetts. Um, Las Vegas. Indiana. Okay. Um, I'm hearing Portland, which I guess that's in Maine. Um, Rhode Island, September 5th. Uh, someone likes the Rams. I guess the football team or someone's a goat. You're born in the year of the goat. Okay. Or as an Aries. <laughs> All right, let's get some zodiac signs to see what what do I want to see? Because you have a lot of people showing up here. Let's. I'm going to look at your Venus, your Venus sign. Okay, we have Aquarius, Pisces, Virgo, a Libra. Well, that could be you or the person in your heart. Okay. We have Leo, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius. Leo, Aquarius, Aries, Libra. So also September 5th. So if you don't know where your placements are, you can go to cafeastrology.com and just click on that and they have a menu that you can click your birth chart, natal chart, and you just plug in your information and that will give you um, everything you need to know, okay? your placements at birth. If you know your birth time, it will give you your rising sign. But if you don't, that's okay. You don't, you'll still get all the others. Okay. So you have ballerina slippers here. So maybe you're going to a show over the weekend, or you, you work in the ballet, or you do something, some kind of a dancer, perhaps. Okay. Oh, look, we got another seahorse. Another yesterday you had a white seahorse today. You have a silver seahorse a regular seahorse All right, and you also have two unicorns <laughs> What's going on? It would be like a seahorse unicorn. You got two of them two, two very unique people is what they're telling me you and another person Very unique individuals something very special about you and another person the relationship is very unique, or you you both are just tremendously different. Um, people meet you and, and just they're kind of like, oh, well, she's different, or oh, well, he's different. So there's something unique about you and another person. Unforgettable. That's what I feel. It's like either you both are unforgettable to each other, or you're just unforgettable to other people in general. Yeah, okay. And then of course, my most favorite charm, you have a glass of wine. So maybe you're going to have some wine or you're going to sip from the holy cup at church for Easter, um, taking the communion wafer and having the wine, okay? I've had that wine and let me tell you, I, that stuff is strong. I, I don't know if my priest, because I, I am Catholic and I do go to church. Um, but I, And it's funny because I do tarot card readings, right? I'm such a heretic. But I don't know if my priest had whiskey in there. 
or what, but man, I was enjoying mess. <laughs> well, there wasn't much left, but I was enjoying what was left, I'll tell you. But anyway, yeah, okay, I'm going to leave that there. I hope that you guys have a beautiful, amazing, holy, blessed weekend. I hope that you truly, truly find peace this weekend and you have a really wonderful time with friends and family or whomever you are with. Even if you are working, I wish you all the blessings. Um, and I think I may be back on Tuesday or uh, maybe Monday. I haven't decided. It is, you know, holiday stuff with my family. But I will talk to you all later. I love you guys. Thank you so much for participating in the chat. A shout out to all of the mods who are super, super awesome. All of you who have joined. Thank you. Have a great, fantastic, blessed weekend. I will see you all back here next week. Take care. Hey, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, Please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.